Did you know that forests are vital to our health? The WWF put out a new study detailing how forest and deforestation play a direct role in human health. Forests do a lot for us. They limit the spread of zoonotic infectious diseases like COVID-19, since deforestation can amplify disease transmission from animals to humans due to closer contact. Forests also filter pollutants from the air and water, which is linked to reducing non-communicable diseases, aka NCDs, which include things like cardiovascular disease, cancers, diabetes, allergies, and mental health. Research shows that exposure to forests and nature has reduced NCDs in people and positively impacted their immune systems. And what is good health without nutrition and food security? For the billions of people and animals that rely on forests for food, forests also provide healthy eating through micronutrients and protein found in wild sources. But forests also do a lot for our climate and environment. They not only promote biodiversity, but they help protect from natural hazards like flooding, landslides, avalanches, wildfires, storms, heat waves, and all the other things the climate crisis is exacerbating. And last but not least, forests help mitigate CO2 emission levels, which as a reminder, we need to have our global emissions by 2030 in order to hit the 2015 Paris Agreement goal of 1.5 degrees global temperature increase. So we also need to protect them. After all, an estimated 1.6 billion people depend directly on forests for their livelihoods. Forests are also home to more than three-fourths of the world's life outside of the ocean. The study illustrates how human impacts have led to the loss of about 40% of the Earth's forests, all due to growing agricultural areas, poorly planned infrastructure, and illegal logging and hunting. Deforestation over the past decade has been particularly bad. Between 2015 and 2020, the world lost 10 million hectares of forest per year. So what can be done? Well, planting trees is cute but planting trees alone won't do much for us. It takes years for trees to reach maturity and we're cutting them down faster than we could grow them. We also need policies that limit deforestation, help manage degraded areas, and promote protection of the people and biodiversity that rely on forests. You can keep planting trees, but also support policies like the Forest Act, which helps prevent illegal deforested products from entering US markets. If there's a limit to certain products, then there's less demand, which then leads to less production and minimizes deforestation. But this report shows just how the world's forests are critical to human health and managing the climate crisis along with promoting biodiversity. So just remember, healthy forests equals healthy humans.